It's your call from buddy Bobby Lopez here, and let's take a look at comparing Gene Sowers versus Colin Montgomery. Here are the two of them in a three-hole playoff. We all know how it turned out. wasn't so good for Gene Sowers. So what I want to show here is that swing positions aren't everything. I mean, Gene Sowers has, beyond compare, a far better swing than Colin Montgomery. Well, when you say what a better swing, a better swing in what sense? In the in the, in the sense that, in theory, it would be far easier to repeat. But the problem is this game is as much a a mental or emotional or a mindset game as it is learning or training your body to go to positions as if you were a ballet dancer. Although the ballet dancers have it right. They know how to do it the right way. So let's do this. Here's Gene Sowers. How can you have a nicer swing than this? Of course, the we, the camera angle is not exactly perfect. We don't know who took the picture. See? But watch where he puts this golf club. Now, you, you can't do it a whole lot better than that. Huh? Is it a little steep? Yeah, maybe just a teeny bit. See? But it ain't bad. I'll take it. And then watch. Ta-dum, 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 ta-dum. Wow. Ta-dum, ta-dum. Look at the back of that left hand leading. Now get ready for this one. This, <laughs> this is the one I want you to see right here. You ready? Eh. Look at that. Look at how he turns that left hand under. Watch it again. See? It's not the right hand over. It's that left hand forearm rotating. See? Hmm? Look at that. Now, another one. Look at it from the top right here. You'll see it go back. See? Now come down. Good. He's loading the shaft. See how there's that flex in the shaft? Now watch the back of his left hand. See? See the back of his left hand? Now watch. Bada boom. Over it goes. Look where the face is pointed. See? Look at that impact position. Can't get much better than that. His face recoiled a little bit, so he must have been a little bit outside of center. See? Not much. And look at the back of that. Man, you just can't do it any better than that. Okay, so now. Let's pull up world famous Colin Montgomery. If you didn't see the results of the tournament, you tell me which swing you'd rather have. Of course, this is an older picture because you can see as we get older, it's easy to put on some weight. He's put on some. I should talk, right? Mm -hmm. Look. See this? See this? See this? See this? Now, there is impact. There's impact. Okay. If you look at Colin here from the front, you'll see even with all the wiggling around, which he has to sort of time, see? All this sliding and the hips moving. Marron, you know what? He could go to Miami Beach. Da -da 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 That's the cucaracha there with all that going on, huh? Then look, boom, there. I unfortunately couldn't find Gene from the front. Couldn't find it anywhere. And it's amazing. As, as great a swing as he has, and you would think to be all over the place. See that? So if you can get to the right place, which is the tip of the left shoulder to the ball at impact, you may have some additional movements that are unnecessary and shouldn't be there in the first place, as does Colin. But if, if you can time it, 
Now, in the long run, I'd still want the guy on the left. If I had to caddy for either one of them and count on my percentage to make money off of them, you know, I, I might be wrong and I might turn out wrong, but, man, that's a lot. It's like Elvis Presley used to say, a whole lot of shaking going on. There's a lot going on there with Colin Montgomery. Doesn't mean he can't pull it off. So maybe this will apply to you if you're driving yourself nuts trying to get rid of every extraneous move in your golf swing and you can't do it, well, learn how to play with it like Colin does. If you'd like to know how much movement there is in your golf swing, send it to me. won't cost you a dime. Just go to quickfixgolf.com and put free lesson online, click on that, and it'll give you all the directions on how to do it. But it's a piece of cake. Just take your cell phone and turn it on and, and then press the little box and email it to me. Here's the email you want to send it to. Bobby Lopez at quickfixgolf.com. Won't cost you a dime and I'll send you back a complete analysis. All right. Hope this helps you.